Hello everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Uh, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this is a different type of video. Uh, we're actually in uh, Calhoun, Georgia. Uh, right, I think 20 miles from uh, the Dalton Show. But I wanted to take you guys along and um, just kind of give you a back backseat of what we're doing and kind of the deals we pick up and other things like that. Um, and I also wanted to talk to you guys about a question uh, that many of people have been writing me about uh, this past week, which is um, how do you make it or how do you make money and be successful? I don't know if I'm currently like the most successful person, but how do you do well selling coins? Uh, I'm going to answer all those things in this video, so stay tuned. So to answer the question about uh, how do you be how are you successful at doing coins or how do you make most of your money doing coins, uh, the way I normally do it and the way that's most important is that you have to go to shows. Like it has to be a priority um, if you want to be a coin dealer if you want to sell coins, um, just because finding the the coins that make you the most money and uh, are the best quality in my opinion are at shows. Um, that shows they're going to be using gray sheet, which is a lower, it's kind of a dealer pricing. Um, they're going to be willing to make more deals with you. Um, you're not going to have to wait for inventory as long. Uh, um, you're going to grow a lot of connections you would never make online. Um, and the problem with online is that you're doing a lot of stuff retail. Like people want retail for everything online. They don't know what a gray sheet is. They know what a price guide is. Uh, but that's retail and so it comes becomes pretty hard to find stuff online like I constantly look on eBay Instagram everything else for that but to be honest if you want to make money selling coins consistently I would say you have to uh, constantly go and constantly drive and constantly uh, be willing to drop everything and go to a show and get a flight um, so for example like uh, we we were planning to go to this show in Georgia. We drove all the way from Houston. Um, this is the night before early bird. So early bird starts tomorrow at 10. And so what we would do is we would basically drive, we drove about uh, 13, 14 hours today. And um, we're gonna stay at a hotel now and we're gonna be ready for early bird tomorrow. So about half an hour before early bird opens, we're gonna be there at the front desk, being the first in line, uh, apart from the dealers and we're gonna to try to get the deals first. So being prepared for driving and being prepared for uh, being there on time and being prepared to be very knowledgeable about everything you can understand about coins um, is gonna make you successful and shows are the way to do it. Um, the problem that most people have also is they are used to selling online and they have time to think about a coin, but when you're at a show like you have to go. You have to draw. You have to go. Like when you're at a when you're at a, a table, you have to pick out everything that you see. You have to wait until they get to your the table. Like a dealer could be gone buying something else, or uh, could be talking to uh, somebody or buying something. And so when they're there, you have to get their attention. You have to be willing to start negotiating quickly uh, because they're there to make money too. And so what I would say is make make a conscious decision to uh, understand as much as you can and then sacrifice to make it to shows because shows are the best way uh, to find inventory. So I hope this answers the question uh, for you maybe or for somebody that you may know that would want to sell coins. Um, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to travel and do things while I'm young. Uh, most people just get a job at home drive an hour to work, drive an hour back, um, don't really see much, get a vacation once once every once in a while, you know, maybe one or two years they get a vacation. For me, like, I get to go out two or three times a month, and I get to go do things that I want to do, and uh, I get to talk with a lot of my friends, and a lot of people that are very knowledgeable in the business and that are very successful doing coins.
Okay, so just got back from day one at the BRNA. Uh, got, let's see if I can get him in here. Got Casey hiding over there. <laughs> but I wanna show you guys just a few cool things that we got. Okay, so here's the group. We also got the CC over there. Uh, I'm gonna just cherry pick a few of them for you, but uh, you can kind of see, uh, you know, some PLs, some blast white coins, key day dime. Got some toners down here, which are really nice, um, and a PL toner. And also have some key date Morgans and Peace Dollars. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a few of the dollars we picked up today and um, a nice dime that we got also. So this is um, an 1884 CC, hasn't been graded yet. It's got uh, blue on one side, purple on the other. Um, I didn't pay much more than what wholesale was going to pay for like a, no a normal blast white coin, so that's why I picked it up. I also like the flashiness of the reverse. And I just think it's a nice coin for someone that wants a tone GSA and doesn't want to spend too much on it. So, uh, you know, something of a middle, middle of the road toner uh, per se. But let me show you guys a few more. So this is an 1885-0, 64 star. Uh, sold this one pretty quick today. Has a cat green bean on it, and when you put it in the light, it's got that really beautiful blue kind of uh, U or horseshoe crescent, and it also has a really deep rainbow crescent as well, which I really do like. Um, not a bad grade. Uh, the cat sticker, like I said, is a plus, and it's a nice blast white coin on uh, the, the obverse. So, uh, overall, just a nice coin in general, and uh, I knew it would be a quick seller and uh, stuff with high eye appeal, which is what the star is, has been selling dramatically more than what it used to. So stuff like this used to sell for like 175, 150. Now it's selling for like 275, uh, 250, 300, stuff like that. So keep an eye out at shows for these. They're on the rise. And let me show you guys another one. We have an 1887. MS63 star. I like this one. Uh, it was a little bit more affordable than the other. And it has this nice blue and green proof like crescent on the obverse. Obverse toners are a little bit uh, more desirable among collectors. So I thought this was uh, a really nice pickup. And um, the reverse has like this green tint to it, which I, I like. It's not an ugly green, but it has like this nice greenish, grayish uh, matte. Uh, type of toning on the reverse which I think it adds a little bit more appeal to it but uh, another really nice toned Morgan dollar next uh, I'm going to be showing you the highest graded uh, mercury dime I've ever held this is uh, a 1916d uh, good four now it has a strong line down the head which kind of gives you give it a, gives it away as a g4 um, has some better detail um, around the words here than what a normal uh, you know AG3 would get. Um, I like it because it also has the true views as well. It has that sellable factor to it. And uh, these have been skyrocketing as of late. So I probably got the most affordable one at the BRNA show. And uh, I plan on finding a nice new collector and home for it very soon. Now here's a PL you don't see every day. So this is a an 1890s which is a better date already and it has uh, the PL designation you can just see the mist or dark mirrors uh, when you put it in the light and when you flip it over it also has dark mirrors on uh, the reverse which I think it's better mirrors on the reverse than the obverse um, almost has like a dimple uh, reverse which I really like um, just a complete beautiful frosty coin um, I, I love picking up coins like this just because it's not a common date one, um, but it and it also is just something people don't find every day in terms of when they look for proof likes. So I like to offer this coin uh, when I can to new customers. So that's a really nice one. I think the coolest toner of the day is this one right here. This is an 1880s MS65 proof like. So. Uh, just to give you guys knowledge, proof like uh, toned Morgans are extremely, uh, the, the prices shoot up a lot for, for uh, proof like toned Morgans. So this one is an end of roll uh, toned Morgan. Um, 
And if you find toning on a proof like and it, it's really beautiful like this one, uh, it could command a lot more than what a normal proof like would be. And so uh, I'm asking currently, for example, I'm asking four times what uh, I would normally pay for a 65 PL just because of the toning. So keep an eye out for these just because uh, they're extremely desirable and people really, really want these in their collection. So got a gorgeous, gorgeous coin. Now I'm going to show you guys one more coin before I wrap up this video today. This is an 1878 eight tail feather MS62 proof like. So we just talked a moment ago about how uh, buying a, a rare date and proof like is important because people don't have it in their collections as much and they're looking for one that's nice. So this one has the OGH holder, old green holder, uh, proof like designation, and a tougher date. And as you can see, um, a little bit murkier in the, in the fields than that 90S is, just because uh, it's been it's had some dings in the bag and it got a little bit more hazy, but overall a beautiful coin as well. Um, we could check out the tail feathers while we're here. So there's eight for you, but this is a gorgeous coin. Um, I had to pick it up for uh, well, maybe one of my customers when it gets around to it. Um, I really do enjoy this whole lot of coins I was able to show you guys today. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the first part of this uh, BRNA show. Uh, I plan on cataloging the second half and showing you guys my day two finds um, as I get them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment what you thought, and subscribe for more videos. Um, I plan on uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so I hope you guys stay tuned for that. So have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you next time.